something. Didn't you just? Oh my god, maybe I ought to just shoot you instead. Seriously, though, we've been running together for a while now. You ain't afraid to take what you want, and don't let anybody get in your way. Got more guts than most folks. I guess what I'm wondering is, why? What's behind all this for you? Do I need a reason? Nope. Suppose not. You ask me, this whole damn world is here just to tear you down. Deck stacked against you from the very beginning. Most folks are too stupid to realize it. They just sort of stumble through, managing to scrape together some shitty little life for themselves. They struggle every day until something catches them off guard, and then that's it. Lights out. They can't help it. They don't know any better. That's what I mean. They don't get how it is. They don't see it coming. But then some folks are too aware of it, you know? They see the world for how fucked up it is. And so they decide they're gonna have it all. Right now. All the booze, all the Kims, all the caps. And they don't care how they get it. In fact, if they can take it from others, they feel like they're getting the upper hand. Only, they ain't fucking raiders. They get so greedy, so focused on right now, they make some shitty mistakes and wind up dead. Hell, maybe some of them are trying to get killed. Yeah, they're my kind of people. Yeah, you've taken a real shine to running the gangs. Hasn't gone unnoticed. These idiots need someone in charge. All these people. They either try too hard or not enough. Maybe not at all. You and me, though, we're different. We know how to walk the line between fighting for what we deserve and getting out of control. Don't know about you, but I had this shit figured out early. Grew up in your average crap hole settlement with parents that meant well, but they were pushovers. Watched them get smacked around by raider gangs for years, handing over whatever they had to keep their lives. One day, I'm watching them cower in front of some punk with a gun, and it just hits me. I ain't gonna end up like this, I says to myself. So I bail. I'm what, 12 years old? Didn't matter. I'd seen enough of the world to know how shit works. <sighs> shit. Where are your parents now? Who the hell knows? Dead, I'm sure. Probably a long time ago. Doesn't matter. Hasn't mattered in decades. I bounced around for a few years, taking whatever jobs I could to pay for food, one way or another. I was a runner for a caravan for a while, did some scavenging, did odd jobs for settlements. No matter what, one thing never changed. When the raiders came through, everyone rolled over. Raiders took what they wanted, moved on, and that was that. Didn't take long before I finally figured out where I'd really been heading all along. Next time a gang came through, I joined. Worked my way up over the years, and now here we are. Running with you now? Seems like it was all worth it. Running together? Is that all we're doing here? Jeez, boss, I don't know. I mean, one step at a time, okay? How about we keep going on like this, and we'll see where things end up. That work for you? Now let's go kill some shit. Hey, can I have your ear for a second? Of course. What's up? I, uh, I just wanted to say that this, you know, the two of us working together like this, well, it's been a damn good time. I left Nuka World with you. Hoping you'd be the overboss the gangs needed. Seems like I didn't need to worry in the least. No question you know how to take care of yourself, which is more than I can say for most. But damn, if you don't have fun doing it, and more than that, I know you got my back. I can trust you. I can't say that about anybody else. 
You're damn right I've got your back. I know you do, boss. And that means something coming from you. Really does. You know, I made some bad calls when I was younger. I ain't saying I regret the choices I made, just that early on, I was a little starry-eyed. First gang took me in when I was 16. Decent-sized group, fair amount of muscle, only they weren't using it as best they could. Me being new and young, I didn't know enough to keep my mouth shut. Started making suggestions about how to improve things. Sounds like you were a real team player. Yeah, that was the general idea. Eventually, the boss approaches me. Connor, his name was. I don't remember what stupid-ass name he used back then. The Harvester or something. It was never as intimidating as he thought it was. <laughs> Laughable, almost. Anyway, at first I think he's pissed like I'm undermining his authority. But he actually listens to me. He takes my advice. Sounds like he was a smart guy. Smarter than most, that's for sure. So here I am, this teenage punk who's got the ear of what seems like the most powerful guy around. I'm on top of the damn world. Connor's always coming to me, asking what I think of his plans, telling me how much he trusts me. Can't lie, it all went to my head. After something like a year of working closely together goes by, we come up with this plan to make peace with a rival gang. We work the whole thing out in secret, where we meet on neutral ground, who does the negotiating, and what happens if shit goes south. I was more than happy to take point on negotiating with three of our biggest guys to back me up in case no one took me seriously. Next, you're gonna tell me something went horribly wrong. Yep. All depends on your perspective, I suppose. About an hour in, they're just starting to come around and realize the deal is in their best interest. And then, I hear it. Gunfire and explosions. Lots of both. At first, I'm thinking, oh shit, something went wrong. Connor's gonna have to bail us out. But the more time that goes by, the more I start to realize what's happening. The fucker set me up, and I fell for it. See, he figured he's pumped me for all the information I was good for. Having me around for much longer, I'd be a threat to his position. So he used us as a diversion, something to keep the other gang's attention while he and his men ambushed them. He gets their stuff, and I just happen to die in the crossfire. Perfect day for him. Okay, but clearly you made it out. Yeah, I did. I find myself on the other side of this whole thing. Messed up, but alive. I can't go back. The one guy I thought I could trust tried to get me killed. Thought about going in shooting, but that was just anger, revenge talking. And I knew where that would end up. So I moved on. Promised myself I was never going to be that stupid again. Was never going to trust anyone to do anything but look out for themselves. Hey, hey, hey. You did what you had to do. No one can blame me for that. Like I said, boss, I don't regret the choices I made. Ever since that day, I ain't trusted nobody. At least not beyond how useful they can be to me. You, though, you're the real deal. I finally found somebody worth fighting with. Something worth fighting for. I don't mean to make it weird or nothing. I'm just saying. This is a real good thing we've got going here. There's nothing weird about it, Gage. I've been thinking about it a lot, too, and I want us to be together. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Aw, oh, come on, boss. You wouldn't want nothing to do with me, not with the fucked up life I've had. Come on, Gage. We've both been around enough to know that stranger things have happened. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that the truth? I gotta tell you, this wasn't really how I was thinking this little talk was gonna go. I ain't gonna go all sappy on you, but damn, boss, you are something else. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I found a piece of me I didn't know I was missing. I don't know what happens next, but hell, ain't nobody I'd rather have with me. <laughs> 